If any one of you have met Lalit Modi or know the man, you will understand why I call the book Maverick Commissioner the IPL Lalit Modi Saga. Isn't true sense a real maverick? True sense. Why would anybody want to create an Indian Premier League out of nowhere? Think about it first. Think about it. What is the value of the property? It is valued at several billion dollars. Now you've got to be a man who will completely think out of the box to even conceive it. And when you've conceived it, you've implemented it, you're the toast of the world, perhaps the most powerful man in world cricket at a point, and then you let it go. Now you've got to be a maverick to be able to do that, create it, and then let it go. And then you haven't disappeared. Every now and then, you're still there. Are you the self-appointed conscience keeper of Indian cricket? Maybe yes. Are you the pro bono conscience keeper? Maybe yes. Can you ever make a comeback? We don't know. With you, everything's possible. The Indian Premier League has grown from strength to strength. Can you ever forget the fact who created it? No. So the Maverick Commissioner will forever be a part of our cricket story and world cricket story. Good or bad. And again I say, I'm not judging Modi. Did he do right? Did he do wrong? Was his ban correct? Was it not correct? I am taking no moral position. All I am saying is, here was a maverick who created world cricket's greatest property. How did he go about it? What worked? What did not? What right? What wrong? For you to decide. Because ultimately, you are the jury. So read it and let me know.